Hello my friends, good morning and welcome to uh, Hoogie Place. We are in Ukraine today. And uh, that is not uh, strange because here is where we delivered our last uh, cargo at the Careford warehouse in uh, Chernihiv. I've spent the night here, so um, you see me standing down at the right. Just uh, turned on the engine and uh, turned on the lights, and I'm ready to go. We will uh, move over to uh, the Kreis or Kreis uh, cargo depot, where we will load up fresh herbs. herbs in another town in Ukraine called uh, Sytomyr. I hope it's called Sytomyr, that's what I call it. 219 kilometers from here, give or take. And you can see the red sign over there, that is where we are loading up. This is the Grace place here in um, Chernihiv. We have our um, parking spot pointed out for us already. So uh, now it's just the delicate little thing to um, park here. As you see, since it's early in the morning, and we uh, arrive at the company. There are often more trucks and trailers standing there than if it would have been in the middle of the day. And now we will see if we can get our truck and trailer set up in place when uh, reversing like this it's very important to do it slowly because then you can uh, get your truck moving more than you get your trailer moving just like that the trailer stands almost still while the truck is uh, moving and that is good when you want to um, adjust yourself and level up <clears throat> looks good As you see, we will not end up straight here, but the one and only thing is that I want to be able to strain myself out with going forward like this, because then you have an easier t uh, task to um, to uh, reverse straight. Let's check in out through the window here. As you see, I am not straight now, but the further I get towards that truck and trailer, I can straighten myself out like this and it's important if you can at least see uh, the, the trailer's lights when uh, straight when straighten out this looks good anyway I see them there and we are 
almost good to go. Like this. Green light. So, we won't complain about that. Or at least I will not complain about that. So, turn off the engine and uh, load up or have someone loading it for you. And a while after that, let's take a look at the map. We are in Chernihiv. We will go southwest towards Sutomy. We will go via Kiev, 219. And uh, now we are ready to go. This uh, tandem trailer is that it follows the truck very well, so probably I will not have to uh, give myself some spa uh, that space when uh, taking the curve because uh, even if I take the curve uh, steeper. Trailer will follow, but that is a habit from uh, driving with a normal uh, truck and trailer. So, uh, yeah, you will learn once driving with it. And, uh, I'm not dri I've not driven with this uh, truck and trailer setup for that long yet, so. hasn't been it's not in my uh, in my spine yet okay so we are leaving sharing the hip it's a cloudy morning and we will, um, have to drive on these Ukrainian roads that very best quality the map maker I think it's Arias has made a great work while with doing the roads sometimes just bearable to to, uh, to drive on uh, and now it starts to rain as well which makes my day uh, almost complete when it comes to, to uh, bad to bring me in bad mood <coughs> I must uh, apologize uh, or already because if you follow me on this journey you will probably experience some uh, problems with the graphic as you see there we have brakes uh, call it stuttering call it lagging call it whatever you want but it's something that I experience come from the map because uh, I've tested it out and uh, it often uh, shows up at the same places you get uh, these quick stops in the see some stuttering near Kiev because Kiev if it even if it's uh, it has been better than what it was uh, earlier I still uh, I still feel that I uh, experience uh, some heavy stuttering there And uh, as I said, I apologize for that, and I hope that you will uh, have patience with it, because 
everything else with this map is, uh, in my opinion, great. And you will uh, hopefully have a great journey if you come with me to Sutomi. So, if we just can get going through this roadwork, and uh, not only a roadwork, you saw an accident there, and then we will be on our way. That is absolutely marvelous. In this, we, I've said it before, in this uh, part of the map, in this region, the AI drivers are worse than anywhere else. I've experienced that there are there can be a roadwork and there are two cars coming from either side. And they meet up in the middle of the road work and both cars are standing still with moving lights. And I cannot understand why one of the cars won't reverse if they are standing there. And well, it's very strange. So I hope that someone that fixes with maps and mods can do something about it. Hopefully, we are out of the, the roadwork section now. And, uh, yeah, we are we are speeded up so that we should get to Sutomir in a couple of hours. And as I said, please come with me on this journey. Enjoy the ride even if it's raining and uh, we'll see each other in Sydney. Oops, the roadwork was not... Ah, it's not a roadwork. It's uh, an accident scene. You can even see the helicopter there. Pro probably uh, an ambulance helicopter. We have cars have crashed, we have trees that have fallen, so it must have been one hell of an accident. And there I got fined for speeding. And now it stops to rain.
we are leaving uh, Kiev behind and uh, I'm not sure if you saw all the stuttering while uh, traveling through the city of Kiev but uh, I experienced it as well uh, it annoys me a lot uh, but if you missed it then uh, no one is more happy than me but forget about that now on our way to Sitomir see you in the short while
are in the city of Sidomir in Ukraine, a city which I know nothing about, and um, uh, actually, oh sorry, my mistake, but that was good actually because then I s stopped at the, the crossing there. I know that we will unload at the Den Danske Frekman or something like that. It's a Danish company here in uh, in Sytomil. Probably just as normal as to have Landmannen in uh, a place outside Kiev. And uh, this will be quite tight. But it's actually also 180 experience points to uh, park here, so uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's a tougher parking, but it will give you more experience points, and that is good. And just like on the other parking spot. You need to line up right, make the trailer stand uh, in position, in the right position, and uh, just let the front wheels of the trailer work. Go very slow, and as I've said before, and don't forget, it's no shame to uh, adjust yourself several times when uh, parking. This looks actually quite good. Good, you, th you say? That's not good, but we are not finished. After this, it will be. I will see if I can find a short trip out of here, or if I need to take a break and look for a longer tomorrow. It has taken more time than I than I thought to get here. But if you uh, check in on me later, you will uh, you will see. Now there is uh, another feature in this uh, company here, and that is, um, I will show you a little later, I will try to explain. There are uh, some obstacles when um, parking, but you need to, um, there are some steel constructions that you need to uh, take the trailer between, otherwise you uh, will end up going over them and you will not be able to uh, park uh, properly. But this looks good and uh, my friends, thank you for uh, watching, thank you for coming with me from uh, Chernihiv to Sytomir. Please subscribe if you want to keep updated with more upcoming videos, leave a comment if you have any and Perhaps hit the like button. And I can uh, reveal a secret. I will, in a short while, uh, change truck with one of my employees and uh, take over the newest truck in the company. And what truck that is, is for you to find out in the future. Until the next time, take care, everyone. Bye bye.